Welcome to B Avenue's How to Become Fluent in French podcast, where we share tips and tricks to help you in your journey to speak French fluently. Hi, everyone. My name is Danielle Hayduck, and I'm the founder of Bienvenue French Language School in Hudson, Ohio. We offer custom programs as well as fast-track career training that will get you ready for a new career in just 18 months. Today's episode of How to Become Fluent in French is called Thinking on Your Feet in French. This week, I thought we would do something a little bit different, something that will help you come up with quick answers. I'm going to ask you where you would see the following. Where would you see these things? For example, a giraffe. Where would you see a giraffe? Une giraffe. And I want you to answer, dans un zoo, in a zoo. En Afrique, in Africa. Dans un parc safari, in a safari park. Dans un magazine, in a magazine. You know, a lot of French, being fluent in French involves being able to come up with quick answers. They may not be complete phrases or sentences all the time, but they're phrases that you can use in different situations. So I want you to come up with as many possible answers as you can. In order to make that easier, I invite you to pause the recording after each one that I give you so that you can write down all of your answers. You want to make sure that you get the phrase correct, so make sure your translation of the word in is correct. As a reminder, before continents, use en to translate in, en, en, because continents are feminine. Before cities, use a to translate in. Before cities, use a. And inside of a box, meaning a zoo, store, hotel, use don plus your article. Now, if you thought of 30 answers in all, you're showing me that you're really playing along and you're really getting into this. I will engage to send you a paper book copy of my book, Bienvenue English to French Translation Guide. Send me your answers, your address, and phone number to frenchinhudson at gmail.com. Are you ready? Let's go. Un, pe un penguin. A <laughs> penguin. Un penguin. So pause your recording and just go and write down everything that you can think of, every place you, where you would see un penguin. All right, here's what I came up with. Dans un zoo, in a zoo. En Antarctique, in Antarctica. Au Pôle Nord, at the North Pole. En Amérique du Sud, in South America. En Pentagonie, in Pentagonia. Dans un magazine, in a magazine. Dans une émission de télé, on a TV show. Dans une émission sur Netflix ou Hulu, etc. In a show on Netflix or Hulu, etc. Dans une publicité, in an ad. How many did you get? Did you get any others? You probably did. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Une chaise longue. It's a chaise or a lounge chair. Okay, here's what I came up with. Dans une publicité. Dans une photo, dans un magazine. In a photo, in a magazine. Dans l'appartement d'un ami. In the apartment of a friend. Chez moi. My place. Dans un magasin de meubles. In a furniture store. Au marché aux puces, at the flea market. Dans les toilettes des femmes, in the women's lounge. Chez un psychiatre, at the psychiatrist. All right, the next one is going to be un tableau noir or un tableau blanc. 
a chalkboard or a whiteboard? Where would you find un tableau noir or un tableau blanc? Okay, here's what I found. Dans une école, in a school. Dans un bureau, in an office. Dans une salle de conférence, in a conference room. Dans un hôtel, in a hotel. Chez un particulier, at someone's house. Dans un commissariat de police, at the police station. À NASA, at NASA. Dans un sous-marin, in a submarine. All right, so how many did you find? Here's my next one. An album, really easy, a tree, an album. Here's what I found for an arbre. Dans une forêt, in a forest. Dans la jungle, in the jungle. En Amérique du Nord, North America. En Amérique du Sud. En Asie. En Australie. En Afrique. En Europe. Dans mon jardin, dans ma maison, in my house, dans les meubles, in furniture, chez un particulier, dans une cheminée, in a fireplace. So here's our last one. Une voiture de sport, sports car, une voiture de sport. So here's what I came up with. Sur une piste de course, on a racetrack. Dans une vitrine, in a storefront. Dans les rues d'une grande ville, in the streets of a big city. À la télé, en Europe, aux USA, dans un magazine, and the last one I found was dans un magasin. So I want you to tally them all up and see how many you had, you found total. I hope you found this exercise interesting and that you thought of at least 30 answers in all. If you have, send me your answers, your address, and phone number to frenchinhudson at gmail.com. frenchinhudson at gmail.com. And I will send you a paper book paperback copy of my book, Bienvenue's English to French Translation Guide. Remember, the key to becoming fluent is speaking. It doesn't matter how many podcasts, shows, or how much radio you listen to. You cannot become fluent if the words don't come out of your mouth. Have you ever dreamed of being fluent in French? If you've been stuck in that in-between place where you can't seem to put it all together, give me a call, 330-313- 4403, 330-313-4403, so I can help you achieve fluency. It's easier than everyone makes it out to be. You can find more information about our programs for all levels at our website, frenchlanguage.net. A bientôt!